One of the main reasons canines were initially domesticated was for their garden instinct. Barking at other animals or people that came around at night, protecting livestock, and even deterring would-be criminals have been long-standing roles of our canine companions. No matter the size we've bred them down to, our canine companions are still one of our favourite alarm systems. Welcome back to the Fenrir Australian Shepherd Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Australian Shepherd, then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Australian Shepherd. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a future upload. So let's dive into today's video and we'll We'll find out how protective the Australian Shepherd is of you and your home. First off, Australian Shepherds are an amazing breed that's extremely affectionate and playful with their family, and one of their best characteristics is their intense devotion to their family. But without a calm, consistent leader, plenty of training and lots of socialisation, their fearlessness could take a turn towards aggression in an otherwise friendly breed. Before considering this breed for your home, please evaluate you and your family's ability to be the leader they deserve. Now with that out the way, let's look at the role of the Australian Shepherd was bred for. The Aussie was pride of Basque Shepherds who used them to, well, herd flocks of sheep. Eventually the breed found its way to the shores of California in the US in the very late 1800s. They were quickly picked up by local ranchers who adored the Aussie for its quick movement, incredible mind and adaptability to herd everything from geese to cattle. Their main working role today still includes herding livestock, but they're frequently seen in track and agility competitions as well, thanks to their keen intelligence and athleticism. If you're familiar with the Australian Shepherd, you'll know that they have a very high energy level, so they love a big yard they can roam around in. They'll investigate any changes, like a fallen tree branch, or a new playset, or the removal of something, just as they would another animal or person. Keep in mind their energy levels tend to make them more reactive than, say, a bull mastiff, for example, who has a very low reactivity and isn't as quick to see threats. It's something to keep in mind if you have children, since the Australian Shepherd may see their playing and roughhousing as fighting and seek to defend the kids. More than likely, they will seek to herd children and nip at their legs. Loads of training and socialisation help the Australian Shepherd to be less reactive, but it is a side effect of their high energy. Working their mind and body helps settle the reactiveness of this breed too, so make sure they get plenty of exercise several times a day, and this is a great time to work on obedience commands as well. You'll find them to be independent thinkers given the chance, and they're one of the most highly trainable canines when it comes to obedience work. They really have a great balance in the area when raised in a good environment. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted just to quickly let you know, if you're interested in watching more videos about me actually working with dogs, following the cases of the behavior modification programs and the different training programs that I implement, as well as me training and raising my own dogs, then we've got a dedicated channel to that exact thing. It's called Fenrir Canine Training. There's tons of videos on there and there's multiple new videos of me working with dogs and some of our Fenrir certified trainers working with dogs to give you incredible levels of value and to help you have perfect canine companions just like these guys here. So there'll be a link in the description box below. I can't wait to see you over on that channel. Since all canines have a sense of territory and resources, your Australian Shepherd will establish what they consider their pack's territory, which includes the house and perimeters of the yard. While they aren't considered a territorial breed, they are highly suspicious of any newcomers on the property and are quite intimidating. This applies if you're out for a walk with someone or another animal approaches you. They'll typically be standoffish with people until they're familiar with them and see that you're relaxed. If someone or something is making you nervous or upset, then you can bet your Australian Shepherd's going to be just as fearless as they are herding angry charging cattle. The same is true in reverse. If you're calm and relaxed around another person or animal, then your Australian Shepherd will be more accepting of them as well. I've said it before and it bears repeating now. It's absolutely critical that your Australian Shepherd sees you as their calm, consistent leader and that you've trained them extensively. Their garden instincts are deeply rooted and are incredibly dedicated to their family, so you don't want them to act out of their own accord to guard you in a situation that isn't actually a situation. Too many amazing canines end up in shelters or sadly being put down because they hurt someone in a situation that could have been avoided with better training and leadership. 
The Australian Shepherd isn't considered a guard dog, but they are far more protective than most people think. Like most high energy canines, they're not for first time owners or for those that can't be a calm, consistent leader that they need you to be. Some individuals will be more offensive while others may be more defensive and either type needs to respond to your direction. These are fearless canines, so remember to work with them each day in constructive ways to reinforce your leadership status. Remember, leadership is love. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Australian Shepherd videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Australian Shepherd Show.